Right, so I thought I'd do this little video, and it's something I've been meaning to do for a while, and you may have noticed that uh, we're in our 75, it's our silver one, 2003, and we're in the back, and we're looking at the um, back air vent, which is in the um, armrest for the uh, front two uh, seats, and um, it's basically, uh, if you see on this side, you've got a little... Um, directional vent and you've got the same on this side but you'll notice that is uh, missing and that's because that's been loose and sort of just hanging on in uh, there and what I've done is um, started to remove it so I could see how it's removed and uh, also when some of it's removed it's easier I think to show you how it comes out and we're going to then look at repairing this hopefully and getting this vent back working like um, this one. So we're now going to go round to the front and uh, I'll show you how we've done it to make it a little bit easier because uh, you would think it would just pull out and this is loose as I said because we've already got it out and I'm going to show you how it comes out but um, what makes it easier to get out is to remove the little box that sits under this uh, armrest so uh, we'll go around the front and have a little look at that. Right, so we're now on the front, and what I've done is just laid this um, back in, which is the insert, your little sort of uh, space to store things that's in the centre armrest. And actually not too bad to get out, it's just uh, two screws, one there and uh, one there, and they're um, this sort of um, star bolt type head, oh yeah, you can see it there, and uh, we've just been using... Uh, a little tool like this that fits into uh, into a socket and if you've got a set you'll uh, find one of the uh, right bits to uh, to do that and um, yeah you can see which uh, bit it is we've been using there and um, yeah they come out fairly easy and this box is uh, a little bit fiddly to get out and uh, you may want to take out the armrest as well and that's two screws there we've decided not to do that for the uh, minute um, but um, it doesn't seem that's needed but that gives you good access in here and actually um, it also gives you um, another sort of view of the handbrake so if ever you were adjusting it and struggling with this cover which there is a, a video on how to adjust it just removing this cover then uh, removing that tray would let you look in there a bit better and probably give you a little bit more light as well maybe something we even think of uh, doing if you want a little bit more light but uh, you can see basically there is the big vent that uh, takes the air or the big pipe that takes the air to our vent at the back. So we're now going to go back round to the um, back and uh, I'll show you how we got the vent out. And as I say, technically, there is no screws in here holding that vent. It is clipped, so technically you could remove it without this, but you couldn't really see what was happening um, and see whether the pipe is getting stuck there. So uh, it is worth removing this. And also by removing this lets you get access to the clips that are in that vent. And I'll show you just uh, in a minute. So uh, we've put that there out the way. Uh, we've got our little screws just down there, uh, hopefully nice and uh, safe. And uh, we'll go back and have a little look at the vent. Right, so as you see, I had the vent almost uh, out. And uh, I thought it'd be easier to show you with it out what we'd done. So you can imagine there it comes out. And uh, there is the uh, bit of felt that goes into that pipe there and um, if you look on it there's these two clips along the top so what we were able to uh, to do with a little trim tool is from the other side just push that vent down and um, push it that way hold it with your fingers here and then let this clip down push it with the trim tool and that let this vent come forward now there is another clip underneath but once you've got them two out um you more or less can sort of pull it forward and that just sort of jumps over because you've levered it forward from the front and um the next thing to do is to get this side repaired the while we were doing that this piece completely fell out and uh, as you can see that's got the little bit you put your fingers on and it's the middle fin for direction and uh, here's the little bit that links this fin to the other two uh, little directional fins that are still in there so you can uh, angle them or angle the air whichever way you'd uh, like to go now uh, i was a bit 
worried on how exactly you would repair it with uh, very limited access. There's your little uh, flap to turn the uh, air on and off, how you get access. Uh, but lucky enough, what they've done is you've got a little dot there and if you push uh, something into it like a, a little screwdriver um, or I was using this uh, little metal trim tool you can push that in and uh, this vent will come out and then you can gain access to repair it but it could also be useful to get it out to sort of clean out give a little blowout uh, with an airline and get any dust out of there and uh, any dust that might be down in that pipe as well. But uh, in our case, we wanted it out so we could do this little repair. And the good thing is, lucky enough, is nothing here appears to be broken. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to completely repair this event. And what it looks like is, I assume, with uh, you saw it's been knocked, that's been pushed back slightly. So lucky we decided to do it, otherwise this would have fell in and it could have slid all the way down inside there and been very difficult to uh, get out if that had been like it for uh, quite a time probably would have even called a rattle or um, it's sliding backwards and forwards so i'm going to get that vent out and then we'll uh, start to hopefully reassemble it and repair it Oh, so that's the uh, little grid out and that gives give us much better access to start repairing um, the um, fids or really reassembling them hopefully there shouldn't be any repairing to uh, to do. Right so we now get the bit of plastic uh, in and uh, hopefully you can see there's two little clips there and there and in here you've got those two plastic slots what you've also got to make sure is this slot here lines up with this slot here for the piece of plastic that goes across that controls the direction for all of them and what you should be able to do hopefully is then slot it in and it'll clip into those two um, bits there i'm just being very careful so that uh, hopefully nothing does break and there we are it's clipped in there and uh, that's lining up there which means hopefully we can now put our joining piece of plastic in you can see that's got uh, three little clips in it and uh, that should clip into uh, each one and uh, get them all back joint together that's that one the middle one and uh, hopefully we can get the uh, last one in as uh, as well and uh, that's the all clipped back together and uh, as you can see hopefully now uh, a working vent so what we've got to do now is um, get this one back into here so what I'm going to do is go in like we did before first get that little um, slot in there and uh, then get the outside one in and that should get this vent back in and uh, working like that as well there we are it's clipped in so uh, yeah we've been able to uh, get that back working and uh, none of the bits have been lost lucky enough so what i'm going to do is give this a little blow out so we can blow out any dust and then it'll be a case of uh, refitting it back and uh, we'll have a working clean vent Right, so I'll give that uh, vent a little blowout. You can hopefully see down there the torch light. And um, we'll give this a little blowout with uh, the air lines. Well, they're actually not very dirty at all. So what we're going to do now is uh, position this back in uh, the hole and then slowly from looking through there and here, push it back in and those clips should uh, relocate. So yeah, that went back uh, easier than uh, I thought. So it was just a case of uh, pushing it through. I made sure that none of the foam or felt got wrapped up and then just pushed it from the uh, front like that and that uh, it gently went back in. Uh, all we've got to do now is get this back into there and it'll be a case of filling it in and uh, down. And uh, then we'll get those screws back in and uh, hopefully that's the uh, job done. So yeah, what I had to do was um, push this sort of up past the uh, arm there and that allows you to get this bit of the bottom box in and then it drops back down. Now the arm 
screws are actually behind this so even if you took this arm away to give you a little bit better access you'd still have to screw this arm back and then put this in so that really is the only way i can see you can do it but it more or less goes back into uh, place very very uh, easily once you've done it i need two hands to uh, properly get it positioned now and then what we do is put those two screws back in right so that is our vent back in uh, as you can see uh, the inside little um, pocket or area to store your stuff is uh, back in and uh, the vent is nice and firm back in and uh, a little air director is uh, working on both sides and our air shut off um, valve or flap is working as well we're uh, really pleased with that because I um, did think it was likely that something had been snapped or uh, damaged so the fact that it was just a case of clipping it back in and uh, it's as good as it originally was is uh, a really nice repair so I hope that's helped you if you want to know how to remove this to clean or to gain access from somewhere maybe uh, the same things happen this has been um, pushed in or knocked in somehow and uh, you're wondering whether it's repairable if all the bits are there uh, there's a good likelihood it is. as always thank you very much for uh, watching our videos don't forget to look through some of the other videos we do if you've enjoyed this and uh, found it useful don't forget to like the video and uh, don't forget to check out our instagram and uh, twitter page and links to that on our youtube channel our home page